Hey everyone, in this video I will explain how to fix the Roblox error injection failed. Let's get started. Open up your web browser and then copy this given link in my video description and paste it in here. And then after that click on enter. So just click on download to download the file. Once the download is completed, just open it up. So if you have already installed Roblox, it will say Roblox is already installed. So what you need to do in here, just click on reinstall. Just wait for this to complete. As you can see, we have downgraded the Roblox to the lower version, which is 2.592.586.0. So once you've done this, after that, we need to download Fiddler Classic and the link will be in the video description. So just click on try for free. And over here, you can just select for gaming and put your email address and your country and just click on accept and download it. Once the download is completed, just open it up and run it. Close it and run the Fiddler app. On the top, click on Tools and select Options. On the top again, click on HTTPS and check Decrypt HTTPS Traffic. Once you've done that, then click on OK. Next, on the top, click on Win Config. Then in this list, look for Roblox. Once you find it, put a check mark next to it. Now after that, just close this one. Click on Yes. After that, click on Auto Responder on the top in here. Then make sure to check mark all these options. Then click on add rule. In my video description, you will see this link and this text file. So what you need to do, just copy this link and paste it in here on the rule editor. After that, copy this text in my video description, then open a new notepad file and paste it in here. Once you've done that, just click on file and save as. And name it as Roblox Injector and save it on your desktop. Now on your desktop, right click on Roblox Injector that you have just created and go to Properties. Then over here, make sure to copy the location path. And then go back to Fiddler again and paste the file path in here. Once you paste it, then at the end we need to type in there backslash robloxinjector.txt and click on Save. Now just go ahead and minimize this and run Roblox. Log into your Roblox account and try to inject the flux and hopefully it should resolve the issue. And that's all. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider supporting me and subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching.